They were confused by it, right? And it is confusing as to who's going to do what and what you're going to be responsible for after it's done and who's responsible for it. Sheila Craig was already well involved in it, already had a plan um, to how it was going to go and who was going to do uh, uh, the, she was filling out the applications. So, you know, I started working with her and getting the applications all filled out and she did all of the hard work filling out the applications dealing with the county dealing with the lawyers all of the stuff that it was like even as a builder i wouldn't know how to do that and the ordinary citizen would not know the process it would be very difficult as we went through the project we had we had a very good leader uh, and in in the township setting we all had our part of the project that we did and we didn't try to micromanage each other we went through and did it and uh, got everybody informed and uh, and there was for instance, uh, income surveys, whatever had to be done, uh, the township picked up the cost of all of them so that we could arrive at a certain point in this project that says, this is what it's going to cost you as a resident. Because that's what matters most is cost, of course. I didn't really get involved until it was determined and, and until the board decided to set up a committee. So I'm part of that committee that's it's called the Sewer Committee, for lack of finding a better word. Um, and there's about 10 of us and we've been meeting regularly for three years and we've been studying everything. I and mean, we studied the kind of how to treat a, a septic tank so you don't have to, you know, don't, aren't abusing it to what kind of systems are available and what kind of systems might work best for our community. And we've been working with an engineer who, um, who has been very helpful and very, um, I, I guess I should say creative in how he could build a package plant that would um, fit in a smaller area and do what we want it to do and be compliant and all that. I think our biggest challenge anyway is to find a location for a site. Um, and then after that, you have to go and try to find what kind of a system will fit in that site and then try to um, get your people really able to get behind you. Eventually, uh, we uh, we contacted uh, uh, Cannon River, or Cannon River contacted uh, some of us. I can't remember exactly how that came about, but we received a lot of help from Cannon River on uh, about uh, similar projects that were done in other counties. And, and then we uh, eventually formed a uh, uh, sewer district within the Roberts Lake Sewer District uh, under county government and uh, pursued uh, uh, plans to uh, uh, connect to the city of Faribault. It's, it's hard to say when it started, <laughs> you know, because it started so gradually and slowly. Uh, but I would say from the time that we really got serious about it, started thinking about it and started trying to put something together, it probably uh, took about uh, three years, which actually, according to other projects of, that are similar, uh, took a lot less time. It was a definite grassroots effort. Yeah, and, it was, yeah. 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 There was a core group that met on a regular basis um, initially to get things started and yeah. then we did have um, every month 
after the interest level was there, was determined that it was there, um, every month we would have a meeting for anybody, anybody around the lake that was interested and wanted to get information, see any kind of updates and changes that were made. Um, the Roy Wingen over at the Shady Acres Resort had a restaurant and he'd open up his restaurant and we could have the meetings there and it was kind of a standing meeting time and date. Or yeah. That was the third or fourth Monday of the month and so we had that ongoing and then also um, after we had a few meetings and the project was proceeding, they st we started to send out an email once a month mm -hmm. with updates for people that couldn't attend meetings for whatever reason. Um,